Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 584 of Prog Review. And today, if you haven't read the title or description, I'm talking about John Hassel's Listening to Pictures. There you go. Um, this is his new first album in nine years. Nine years. Um, so, here we go. This was released on Friday. But that means nothing if this is on the internet, does it? <laughs> but I've been listening to it over the weekend for your enjoyment, for those of you who follow this kind of thing. Um, John Hassel, who he... Uh, probably probably better known for his collaborations with Brian Eno on Fourth World Possible Music's uh, Power Spot is another good one. Um, trumpeter, trumpeter, and this year, I mean, he's 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 in his eighty first year, eighty first year, and it's great. Even though yeah, he's on the trumpet, he is still creating music that you can hear the kids in the background uh, <laughs> do that now do that um you can see him still pushing pushing forward uh with this and like i said this is the first record in almost a decade and what we've got here it's um it's it is a it's more of the same to put it politely but in again a good way again if you're familiar with his um oh uh, city works of fiction and he's more abstract recordings it goes along those lines and so we have you know trumpet masses of electronics you know the trumpets processed this is well it's it's ambient music but with a with a very distinct electronic pulse behind it um again it's not something you'd sit down and, and listen to per se or maybe you would but it's nice to have on the background. I I get something from it more having it on in the more having it burbling away, you know. Reading, I like reading whilst listening to to stuff like this. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's the review. I mean, there's because it is such an abstract record. But I mean, and because it it too is along as its own pace, and yeah, it sounds very much like the work he's done before. You're either going to like it, or you're not going to like it. But drawing comparisons with that um, uh, Daniel Anwar Venetian, what's his name, record that I poo pooed not too long ago. Uh, but this is like the flip side of that. This is how, this is how you can have, you know, like traditional uh, instrumentation. In this case, the trumpet. In Daniel Arnold's case, it was the pedal steel guitar, and have electronics going on in the background and complementing what's going on. And you do get, you know, like I say, some interesting textures and rhythms burbling up. But it's complementary. It doesn't uh, kick you out of the dream. It, it 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 adds it adds to the to the overall sound and feeling of the record so you know this is how you can bring the modern with traditional instrumentation you know i mean again other record was just it was just too discordant you know it just uh, it didn't work for me, and uh, I know many people have told me to, you know, go and listen to some records. I mean, can I go this Typex Twin and stuff like that? So it's like I don't ever listen to anything a bit left field like that. Um, but I'm getting off the point. So yeah, this is like I say, this is part of the Pimento Volume One series, and uh, Pimento is a is a style of painting where you can see images like kind of. Like, buried within the picture there are images upon images and that's very much what the music is it's kind of music buried you know there's layers and layers of it and it is quite dense you know it's, it is quite a heady a heady brew and if you do like john hassel and you do like that kind of stuff you're gonna it's a it's a, a no-brainer you're gonna really get a lot from this record um those of you who aren't interested in this particular side 
alley, <laughs> this path of experimental avant-garde ambient world music, minimalism, electronic, electronica, might not appreciate it so much. Then there's the others who are saying, oh, prog no, this is progressive music, none of that prog crap. This is progressive music. This is, you know, pushing a completely different style. So, yeah, those of you who are looking for more of John Hassel, you can't go wrong with this. And like I say, with some of the who's um, in their 81st year, you know, you kind of uh, you kind of take all you can get from them. And uh, yeah, it was a pleasant surprise to know that there was a new record coming out. Um, so yeah, I mean, I I I kind of biased. I'm biased because of you know these previous works and you know work with Eno. So yeah, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a good review, even though you know some elements of it are familiar. You know, you feel like we've been this way before. I'm still gonna give it a pass because it's again it's just an interesting I, I find it interesting it's one of, it's one of those things I find it as an interesting form of minimalism you know I mean, it's something that in, I engage with and it's it's hard it's hard to you know it's hard to um, to explain that you know some music you, you 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 really dig you know so I call it I call it soul music this is my soul music and so you know when I put this on it thing it makes me inspires me to you know want to make more music and that's always a good thing that's a sign of a good record you know, blah 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 um so yeah listen to this it's thinking oh yeah that's interesting how did he do that i'd like to be able to do that you know so that's where it takes me and so that's what i get from it um but again like i said it's not you know i don't again it's not not everyone's gonna like it so with that in mind i'm gonna give this i'm gonna give this a very healthy a very healthy oh there's a track here called slipstream i'm sure michael brook did a, a song called that uh, i'm gonna give this i'm gonna give this four slipstreams out of five it's they're totally that's a totally biased four slipstreams out of five um and if you do get it on the lp you do get a download card with it and there's a nice inner sleeve as well I'll show you the inner sleeve whoops there's the, 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 let's see Sorry, the sun. The sun is shining through yon window, and so everything is rather shiny, shiny. Um, but yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed listening to it. It's nice, pleasant. I enjoyed it. But I expect there will be people out there who, who this is not for them, you know? So may we continue to like different things, and may I continue to mock you <laughs> for liking different things to me. That's why you come back, remember? You know, they always love a bastard. Uh, so, um, so anyway, I've been talking about listening to pictures, of the new record by John Hassel, uh, subtitled Pentimento Volume One. So, who knows? Maybe there'll be a, a Volume Two. And it's a new imprint as well. Um, on it's called N Nadea. Uh, I don't know if Warper Warper behind it. He thanks Warp Records. So. Yeah, so it's a new new imprint as well, and I don't know if they're going to be putting out just uh, John Hassel albums, but who knows? Um, and it's good to see, you know, there's been uh, reissues of uh, Dream Theory and Malaya and uh, Fourth World Music, Fourth World Possible Music. Those reissues have, you know, it's good to see that back out again. I think again, City Works of Fiction was uh, was also reissued, so it's good to see that you know John Hassel is getting getting the love and interest he deserves and uh, may we get more records may he get to 101 and still be playing his ethereal trumpet and uh, and that's that that if you're watching but if you are mr hassle keep it up keep it up indeed and um we'll do this all again soon don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget the patreon and the social media uh, music.darrenlock.com and all that stuff got to do it got to do it don't forget to click on the on the, the sub box and ring the bell uh, not that subs mean anything because if subs meant anything i'd get a damn sight more views every video wouldn't i so subs are meaningless so when so when youtube give out little awards to people with lots of subs it means nothing
means nothing. It means nothing. That's what I'm saying, and that's what I'm sticking with. So anyway, here we go. One last look, and I'll sign off. There's only one more thing left to say, and that is, prog on. <laughs>